What's the crack? This is Gar, and this is Gone Home, a brand new game out in Steam, out today, although this video will probably be coming to you tomorrow. Um, so, for those of you new to my channel, hello, welcome, hope you like it, hope you like the videos, hope you like this video in particular, obviously. Um, for those of you who are sub to my channel, which is probably most of you, sorry I haven't been around for a little while, guys. Those of you who follow me on Twitter will have a little bit of a taster as to why kind of a family issue my grandfather passed away but i'm not going to get into that too much i'm going to vlog about that and other things soon because right now i want to get into this game which has come incredibly highly recommended by a lot of people i follow on twitter and friends of mine um it's meant to be really really good for narrative which is one of my main things in the game that i love so let's give it a go use the r keys or wsd to walk around look around using the mouse wow that's i love that i love the art style so far really retro kind of kind of cool 90s kind of vibe to it which i think is pertinent because i think this game takes place in the 90s i tried not to read too much about it but i like to you know i, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a horror game because it kind of looked a bit like a horror game and i'm not that much into horror games um just because I, I don't i don't think well i don't know i, 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 I kind of find horror games a little bit easy anyway th that's just my feeling but anyway um not easy in terms of like gameplay easy in terms of how it is to achieve the horror in a game but anyway, uh, that's for Hi, another Mom. day. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Well, first impressions are that dialogue is great. Wow, that's like incredibly natural because that's pretty much, I think, verbatim the kind of message that I would have left on my parents. Uh, answering machine whenever I do fly home, which is quite a lot given the fact that I study and live in uni in Edinburgh but come from Ireland originally. So it's 1.15am, June 7th, 1995, and I am here outside my home, and I am just going to quickly maybe turn down the sound, uh, sound a little bit. I've got a feeling that, yeah, that's the rain, so let's turn this rain down a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. I hate trying to mess around with settings like that the start of a video I usually like to try and get that good nice blurring effect yeah you'd be forgiven for not thinking this is a horror game it's kind of dark rainy horrible uh, okay so let's try and learn a little bit about ourselves here we are Caitlin Greenbrier destination of Portland so I presume this is Portland Wow June 6 1995 Wow this is yeah check that bag out you don't need to look at that date to know it's 1995 you just need to look at that pattern to know the date that is pure 90s right here what does this say now a letter katie i'm sorry i can't be there to see you but it is impossible please please don't go digging around trying to find out where i am i don't want mom and dad slash anyone to know we'll see each other again someday don't be worried i love you sam well jesus that's that's ominous that's terrifying um Okay, well, obviously, I kind of really want to go in right now, but given being that it's a video game, I'm just kind of, like, going to explore because, yeah, that's kind of what I do. Um, those of you who are looking at this and getting a Bioshock feel, uh, I wouldn't blame you because this is actually um, from the masterminds behind the original Bioshock. So, okay, so grab cup, um, and then I think I can, yeah, <laughs> check out this cup. That's awesome. And then I can put it back. Um, now what's over here? Open the door. Uh, can I turn this on? I can! Nice! Uh, can I crouch? I can also crouch. Christmas duck! What the- Oh, a key! Ooh. Well, actually, let's first of all check this duck out. What the hell is a Christmas duck? <laughs> what makes ducks festive? It's only five ninety nine. dollars <laughs> do we still have the thing on it? That would suggest it's not that old, but considering it's called the good old Christmas duck, Got a feeling our character here has some um, uh, pretty pretty fun memories. Uh, how's key added the backpack? Press one or I to check the contents of your backpack. Oh, that's toggle. Oh, that's good. Okay, backpack. Ooh, wow. Check me out. I'm pretty fine. Um, right. Okay. Hope Molly doesn't watch that. <laughs> oh, come on now, Mike. Don't lose me now. We're in the middle of a great recording session here. Microphone. Don't mess. Okay, brilliant. Um, my name is Kaylin Greenbrier. I knew that Greenbrier. Date of birth, 12th of December 1973. It's 95 right now. 
That makes me 22 years young. That's cool. Check this stuff out. Boarding pass. Wow, I came from Amsterdam. That's a long way. And a transfer in Cincinnati. That's that's a long flight. No joke. This is my boarding pass. Back from my year in Europe. Wow. Oh, God. Lightning. That's not scary at all. <laughs> uh, year in Europe. Eat Wow. Amsterdam. Well, we all know what you go to Amsterdam for. Although saying that, it's such a long flight. No matter how much she smoked, I'm pretty sure she'd be, uh, she'd be, she'd be sober by now. A spare key that was hidden under the old Christmas duck. Okay, well, we know where the front porch is. Uh, okay, cool. Can I... Is there anything here? Why do we keep our Christmas decorations out in this cabinet? What? What's the deal with that? Um, can I do anything with my bags? Nah. Right, um, open door. Okay, well, it's a bit dark in here. Yeah, I mean, like, as I said, you'd be forgiven for not thinking this was a goddamn horror game. <laughs> uh, is there any lights I can turn on? Can I turn on this light? Nice. Wow. Grab the tissue box. Is it empty? That would be a good sign that something kind of sad's happened. No, there's still tissues in there, I think. Uh, grab, put back, open drawer. I'm gonna close these doors. Hello, mom, dad, anyone home? Read the invoice. Boxes in the kitchen. Terrence Greenbrier, I presume that's my dad? What was the guy out here? Dear Katie, Ooh. so much has changed, even just since you've been away. So we moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Wow, so we've got a journal somewhere. At the new house, out at the backpack. Uh, journals, is that what it is? Okay, so I can re-listen to them. I wonder if they just happen normally. This is, this is, this is... Really enjoying this game so far. This is pretty awesome. Okay, so that was Sam's letter out front. She she doesn't feel she can come home. Do I need the bathroom in it or anything? Do I do I need the toilet? I don't think so. Um, Sam and Magazine. Stephen King. Okay, so maybe it is a horror movie game slash thing. Fifty contests. Author magazine. So is somebody an author here? Maybe. Open sliding door. Close sliding door. Grab a box. Quick fix. Okay, standard. You know. Oh, didn't mean to throw that. Cleansing powder. Is that? A, is that a noise I heard? I don't think so. Hopefully. Grab toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> look at the baby. Oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm pathetic. <laughs> So we got your tiles, your standard sort of bathroom affair. Fair enough. Got your bathroom. Flush toilet. Fair enough. You kind of expect to be able to flush uh, the toilet. Sparkle, hand soap, put back. Okie dokie, I guess. That's everything in there, you know. Mom, dad. Right, I'm going to try my best to play this as if it was me. So if it was me, the first thing I'd do is I'd go around looking for my parents. So... You know, it's 1 a.m. Press 2 a.m. to check your location in the house. Ah, so 1, 2, and 3. Okay, 2. So I'm in the foyer, upstairs foyer. Do I have a torch or something? Because it's a little bit dark. Turn on lights. Hello? Anybody? Try my best to play this normally. Um, that scared me, but then I realized that this is a game, so... Uh, Read sternly, would it? Too make me concern. I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and therefore independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compared with Katie, who is only three, brackets three, years older than me, and yet you all allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being, and since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Hmm. 
Okie dokie. Stop leaving every damn light on in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Hello? Hello? This has been on a long time. Yeah, you'd be really forgiven for thinking this is a horror game. Like, I mean... It's got a bit of a horrorness about it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool looking. Sonic Boom 94. Do I remember any of these bands? Yes, I do. <laughs> that's awesome. I would have totally gone to that. That's so cool. What are these? Mom? Sam? Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Molly had simple things like this. Holy Bible. Okay, cool. Um, has she got religious lately? Are we religious? Grab board game. Got your number. Yeah, that is so 90s right there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but there were these games where basically you kind of like had a uh, had a phone like that. And um, I mean, I never played them, obviously. Ugh. Chapter 2, The King's Labyrinth. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the single shining thread into the lower cabin of the labyrinth. I'm going to say that's not the best writing I've ever written. Um, a read, rather. I, th I don't think I need to uh, read that. That's not too bad. Th is this Sam's room or is this my room? I mean, if this is a new place, it's obviously, you know. Is this the only lights I have? I don't have any headlight headlights. Good fellow, okay. Um, this is a bathroom. Do I have a little ensuite? No. Pacific, into Artemis. So, somebody who ever lives here is into art and the pirate bay. <laughs> or just pirates. Uh, and Zaman Magazine. Oh, man. Oh, poor old Kurt. Poor old Kurt. If you guys don't know who Kurt Cobain is, grab. What? It's Steggy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Steggy. Man, I can understand why somebody would have that called Steggy. KSNC. Right, so she's into, like, you know, enter combination. I don't know it. What is this? Julianne Moore? Kate Winslet? Man, this is... This is pretty funny. I haven't had that much to drink Jodie Foster. Oh, that's Jodie Foster, sorry. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> this is pretty funny. You'd better not have been... Reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, Mitten. Have some pate. Gross. Thought there might have been some clues as to the combination there, but I don't think there is. Um, anyway, let's go see if my mom and dad are in the room, murdered and dead in their bed, because this is kind of what this game feels like. Um, hello? Earth, wind, and fire. Now, this seems more like... Well, I mean... Oh, we were a pretty cute family. There's, there's no doubt about that. We we're a pretty cute family. Now this looks like a room that's being pretty quickly vacated. Why is nobody here? It's definitely a woman's room, obviously. Um, mitten. God damn it! What are these noises about? I'm not a fan of them. Jesus, fucking terrifying. I hope this isn't a horror game. I like, I really, really hope this isn't a horror game. It kind of really feels like one, so. Hmm. <laughs> right, um. Surely it would tell you if it's a horror game. It definitely didn't say horror game on the front of it. I'm. Right, whatever. Let's, let's keep going. Let's not dwell into the minutia at the moment. Uh. Pretty sure I came. Yeah, I came around there. I went through that little corridor a bit. I could go down that door or I could keep going this way. Where am I in the house? Mom and Dad's bedroom is there. That, so that was Mom and Dad's bedroom, is it? Right, okay. Okie dokie. Um, what the fuck is this? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. I mean, I guess that suggests it's where she moves her uh, paintings and stuff. Where are we now? 
sitting room. Sitting room's upstairs? What the hell is that? Sunflowers. Who's painting sunflowers? I want to explore all these rooms. That's that's my main port of call, first of all. And then I think we will um, we'll go into some of the more details. Clearly, they're all gone. And, and I want to find out why, obviously. Oh, wow, look at them. They're beautiful. And that's what... They were. She was painting. Whoever was painting here. Can I turn on another light here? Oh, that that illuminated. That's really good. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty impressive. Whoever's painting this. Examine the form. Richard Pattermack. Oh no, no, Supervisor Janice Greenbrier. That's the mother. Um, Richard Pattermack has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication. It's been the setting factor in the success of a very challenging and constant. Okay, so in the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, uh, Frick's contributions to daily operations have become. So I'm a senior conservationist at like a forest or something, and that's my. Well, sorry, my mom is, and that's me like uh, giving an. Uh, that's her giving a, a report. Okay, so there's a tape player. So we know that the tape player is um, in the sitting room upstairs. We've got a sewing room. That's neat. Check my corners. <laughs> A um, little bit ominous, not gonna lie that that's a little bit scary. It's locked, okay. Um, Sam, what have you done, Sam? What have you done? What is this? Read note. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Right, so this is the room I was gonna stay in. Okay. Wow. Yeah, they really didn't have much time, did they? What is... Is there no lights? Is there no goddamn lights in this house? Like, ceiling lights? The wall lights? It sounded like something was outside there. Um, examine composition book. Ghost hunter journal. Oh, god damn it. Ugh. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Right, great. This is a freaking horror game. <laughs> Notice I was not wearing my glasses. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. It was probably the furnace. Also, ghost milk. Ooh. Lonnie says she feels her presence in the TV room. I suddenly feel the cold. Okay, so it sounds like there's ghosts in this goddamn room. Amazing. Yeah, ghosts in the house. Okie dokie. The house is haunted. Oh, my family are gone. I'm officially quite scared. <laughs> yep. Uh, we've got an attic with creepy red lights. Lightning outside. Rain. That just scared the shit out of me. It's just a smoke alarm. That scared the double shit out of me. <laughs> it's just a noise. Right, okay. Where are we going? Where are we going now? Uh, to the attic. Okay. To downstairs. Yeah. There's a big space here, which I imagine is something, so... Um, oh, what's this? Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? Came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good, we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us. Oh, this is a note exchanged at school. Oh, it's archetypal. The different handwritings, the different pens. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight uh, for a change, but I can just ditch it. Probably what time? Blah blah blah. According to Dodd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> pretty, it's pretty hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. All right, see you then. So they went to go see that. That's cool. Can I open her bag or anything? No, it's her school bag. So here's a little bathroom. Let's turn the light on again, obviously. Open cabinet, toothpaste, grab box, put back. Lonnie rules. Whose bathroom? I imagine this is the bathroom that Sam mostly used then. Guess this one's broken. Well, why is it broken? It's a bit ominous, I guess. What the? Okay, maybe it's wild color, red, right hand, semi-permanent hair color, not tested on animals. Okay, so Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. 
She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Wow, dealing with roots. I'm just going to close this door so I can examine this room. You know what? I'm going to go downstairs. I think I'm going to go downstairs, and then we're going to call this video it for the day, and we're going to examine it a bit more later. Um, let me know what you guys think if you like the video if you want to see me play more of this game I'm, pr I'm enjoying it a lot I, I really I'm really am it's kind of surprising me how much I'm enjoying it um, so I think we're just going to call it here looking up at the staircase as I said before if you like the video give it a like if you don't give it a dislike whatever let me know what you guys think about it either through the ratings or the comments and I will see you next time hopefully in this game maybe in another game who knows peace out bye Oh, <laughs>